what's up guys? Uh, John Old Kings here and Kirk Miller back here on the Redcraft server. This is well, for anybody who has, hasn't seen it yet, not my subscribers have. Um, so, we're doing a new series here. Um, it's going to be a little Minecraft 101 for you guys. Any of you guys that are new or uh, I'm maybe going to show you some things that you didn't know. Some things that some of us didn't know either, but we're just going to test them out. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So here, here I've set up a uh, sort of an automatic dispensing minecart system. Um, so basically if you put the minecart here, and you get in it. Okay. Make sure not to have two minecarts. <laughs> I'm kind of having trouble with this all day. Alright, so somebody hit the lever. Yep. You hit the lever, minecart goes into the cactus. Well, you can see the one ahead of me did. And it gets dispensed into this hop. And then essentially, you can just have the hoppers carry it back to your dispenser, which would then dispense it somehow back onto the track. Go the other way. So, which is something that so. me and Chris <clears throat> did not know. Yeah. So if you were to. Uh, Put one, do you guys have one coat? Voila, right there. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll put, <laughs> I'll put one in. So we have a dispenser and a dropper. Mm -hmm. Well, it only works with, uh, we'll show it right here. As you can see, when we flip the tubes, when we flip the drop, okay. mm. try it one more time. Go ahead, Grix. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Something they didn't know, but yeah, we didn't. Me and Crix didn't know if you put a dispenser next to the track, you can actually dispense the cart, which I didn't know. Okay. Didn't so know. here's here's a little myth busters. Um, we were wondering if you could use a dispenser or a dropper in order to dispense a music disc into. A uh, thing. What you call it? Um, mm. A jukebox. Somebody would like to pick the music. I'd, I'd prefer uh, STAL. That would be something. Now we have a dropper there first. Alright. Um, we'll grab. Get the DJ on. We'll grab our music. By the way, just, just before we get into this, this will be a much nicer facility later. <laughs> yes, we're out in the woods right now. This is, uh, we're, uh, we're renovating the lab. Right now. Okay. So, um, get that cat out of there. <laughs> that crappy music. And look at that word. Oh, you can see it. Miss busted. So no, you cannot put a record into a jukebox with this message. That should be added. So, uh, Mojang team, if you see this, add that to the game. That would be really good. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't work with a drop either. They kind of just get spit out. Mm. And All right. Uh, does anybody have an Ender Dragon? Um. Let's see here. Where would it be? I still. I'm not sure if it's in my creative mode, but... Just go to the search bar. Which is something else you have in creative mode. I hope they have that though. Uh, no, it's not on there. Yeah. Um... One second. Alright, we're gonna pause the uh, recording. Wait, and, now they're, and now it's in there, give me a second. Um... Just look up, like, Minecraft item ID list. It's, I got it. Wait, no, that's in the moon. What? Mm. I stand corrected. Oh, there you go, that was long! Yeah, I can't get the ender, ender egg. Oh. What up, dog? What do you mean it's in water? Since we're testing. Can you spawn an ender egg underneath what? I can spawn an Enderman, but they transport transport automatically. Mm. 
Yeah. Find the item ID. Can't find it. Well, I guess we'll have to save that till we beat the end. Mm -hmm. Here, hold on. Huh. Oh, find it. Yeesh. Oh, I think I got it. One second here. And uh, on the uh. dragon egg, one, two, three. Okay, I got it. He gets it out. Got it. Okay, I guess I'll have to go into uh, survival mode. So we're gonna test and see if you can get killed by the dragon egg. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what we have here is a dragon egg. We got our lovely pet subject, King Kid here, who uh, uh, hates yeah, my Enderman. But um, yeah, we're going to drop the Ender Egg on him, because as you know, the properties of an Ender Egg make it so that it falls like an anvil when there's no ground underneath it. So uh, that's it. Loose it. Falls. And it goes right through me. Yeah, so you cannot kill somebody with the Ender Dragon Egg. It is simply just a nice uh, little decoration. Yes. Oh my god, there's Endermen everywhere. Sorry. Alright, what were we testing here? Somebody took the block. Yeah, I just oh. died. Hmm. Not, from, not from the egg, from all the Endermen eggs. Alright. <laughs> okay, so there's a gold plate here, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I think King was the mastermind behind this. So, okay. so, what we, so what we have here are the two new weight, weight not really new, but the two weight pressure plates, which people don't really know too much about. I mean, when you stand on them... I didn't even know they existed. Yeah, so basically what they are, they are, um, it's basically just like um, how we make any other pressure plate only with um, iron or gold. And so if John would step on that, as you can see, there's no signal being outputted by his and me standing on this one, there's no output being put on these. Because these pressure plates only sense items. So if I was to get, say, uh, 32 stone right now, or 64 stone, and throw it on this pressure plate right here, you can see that there are two lines of redstone being lit up. Um, the, the, this, this dropper over here is emitting one. Yeah. It, it does, um, the, the iron one does it in groups of 32, so as soon as I hit, hit past um, one over the 32 mark, we should see another uh, thing lit up. So, uh, once we see, okay. Okay. Well, I know a stack works, and yeah. Mm. And, we'll and what about the gold one over here? The gold one yeah, is more... This one's heavy. Yes, this one um, is a little bit more sensitive, so I can put a little less items if you, back up, if you guys are back up so you don't pick up items. As you can see, the whole stack lights it up all the way down to here, which is yeah. a lot. And Pretty heavy. So you could use this, this for like timers, or like, um, I know if you want like a certain number of keys or something like the max or like if you want if you got a uh, possibilities are endless and it's yeah. pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. and that is all we have for you today. Oh I was wondering, um for the little what are these, hoppers? Yeah. yeah. Um does the hopper have to be full before it goes to the next one or no. Um yeah, I'm just not I'm not good with offers, I've never actually used them. Actually like try to put it out an episode of it and did some research on it. Um no, a hopper as soon as you put an item in it, it will start it should start to dispense it, but it depends on if only if there's a place for it to dispense. But like yeah. I was telling you guys earlier, see how that little nub is pointing to the uh, wool block right there? Yeah. So if we were to get yeah. a chest really quickly uh, and put it where that wool block where that block is. All the all the viewers here are learning what that 
And as you can see, I, the eyes, uh, yeah. okay. It depends okay, on where so, that nub goes. So that nub was. Can it, can it go into another hopper? Yeah. So if I put a hopper, you got to shift and then you got to right click. So you can do a line of hoppers, just like on my potato farm on the old uh, um, server, um, the new design. If you put anything on this end hopper, it should travel through all the hoppers. And hoppers do output the redstone signal based on the number of items in there. And you can also turn off, uh, you can also send a redstone signal to a hopper to turn it off. I'm not, wait, I'm not sure about the outputting signal, but I know you can turn a, a hopper on and off. So if I was to uh, get a lever really quickly, I can uh, put, put it right there. And if someone would be so kind to put an item in yeah, just like that. And when we open here, it should be stopped right there. And items will not go past this third hopper right here. Um, okay. Yep. And then I can turn that down. Okay. That's how you stop your circle, didn't Yep. Remember the nut? No, I didn't know. I've never actually used it. Yeah. I'm a battery so. That was like the first thing I learned how to use as soon as it came out in 1.5. No, they're, they're really useful. Like, I watch, I've seen a lot of videos of them. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically uh, like build craft pipes in vanilla, if you can get the iron out of it. Yeah. Alright, so that's all that we had to test today. Uh, as, as I said before, our um, the labs are being being renovated right now, so that's why we're right here. Yep. Um, next episode, when we come back, they should be done. We uh, have some test certificates working hard, so we'll mm -hmm. at yep. the moment. So, uh, yeah. Next oh. episode, we'll be in our lab, and uh, we will see you then. All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye. See you.